morning. I am here with Ahmed at his Lotus Fitness, and it's so exciting to be here. I watched Ahmed um, teach about foot strength and do some foot videos, and I got so excited because part of the organic foot, one of the pillars of the organic foot is foot strength, okay? So we need to keep these feet strong so that we stay in alignment and our feet stay healthy and our knees and our hips and our backs. So today, Ahmed is going to walk me through some foot exercises. I'm really excited about this. Um, not only for me, but for my patients, right? So we're gonna learn here. Um, I might look like a duck, <laughs> but it's all good. Okay, so Ahmed, can you just walk me through, literally walk me, right? So I know you said, the first exercise would be putting my toes together and my heels together, right? So I'm, I'm pretty tight here. Exactly. And now I'm going to do some heel raises, correct? Correct. So if you could do 10 of these, that would be suffice, right? Yeah, and you, and you want to keep your heels attached to each other as much as possible as you do this. There you go. Ah, I feel the difference right away. See, this is why you need a trainer and a coach. So you do things correctly. <laughs> there you go. All right. So so this is one exercise, right? Yep. And then you can move right into the next one where you keep your heels together, but you separate your toes and you kind of duck them out. And okay. Then and I have to say, it totally feels awkward. <laughs> but that's a good thing. Right? Because we're not used to being in these positions and working these muscles. Awesome. You may hear some snapping and cracking. I as did. long as there's no pain, that's okay. Yep. I heard it. Okay, now where do we go from here? From here, you're going to attach your toes together and heels apart. Okay. And try it like that. There you go. By the way, Ahmed brought the outdoors in. Do you love this grass? This is incredible. Awesome work, doctor. I'm actually like, you know, this is a bit of a little workout for me here. I, I feel my breath. <laughs> Okay. Now we're going to address some triplanar motion we do not achieve when we are in shoes, right? Where we're just really using the sagittal plane. So what does that mean? It means that some muscles get weak because we don't use them. So this is a great walking exercise to use those muscles. All right, here I go. We're gonna turn the uh, foot out. Okay, this is called supination, and we're gonna be on the outside of the foot. Right, Ahmed? You're doing a great <laughs> job there, doctor. So, so here I go. You might feel that. Okay, and you will feel it. I don't know what to do with my hallux. Right, okay. All right, backwards? Yeah, try it backwards. <laughs> wow, now you're really, uh, now you're getting balance involved. All right, so I'm also, by the way, waking up all those nerve endings, so I'm communicating, my feet right now are communicating with my brain, okay? There is a pathway, um, and of course, when, when we were barefoot uh, a very, very long time ago, we really needed that for protection, right? We needed, we needed that communication, that constant communication. But we're, we're really lighting up some brain activity right now. Okay, so the next one, and correct me if I'm wrong, Ahmed, is we're gonna go on the inside of the foot, the medial aspect of the foot, okay? And this is really almost like extreme pronation, all right? And we're gonna walk on the inner. Exactly. You might feel a bit funny as you do this, that's okay. Absolutely, I feel <laughs> funny. <laughs> and I'm sure I look funny. But it's fun. 
Okay. Okay, now we want to talk about some sagittal strength, right? So um, this is something I always recommend to patients, walking on your toes, okay? So we get a great stretch too uh, in the plantar fascia, all right? Uh, we're actually getting a little slack on the Achilles tendon when we do this, all right? Okay, look, I'm, at, I'm off balance already. So walking on the ball of the foot. Yeah. And if you're sensitive here, um, you might want to put a sock on. Um, I recommend great soles because they have grips on the bottom and you won't fall. All right, and to challenge yourself, you could do backwards. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and try your best to keep your, your toes facing forward the entire time. Okay. Yeah, are there any other tips here? that you have for us? Not, not many tips about that. If you're feeling a burn, you can shake it out a little bit and then get right back into it. Yeah, and, and we'll talk about some modifications after we go over this last one. All right, so what am I doing for the last one? For the last one, and generally we recommend people to wear shoes for this one, is you're going to walk on your heels and think about pull your toes towards your shin as you walk. All right, so this, right now we're really stretching out the Achilles. Okay. And this takes a little bit of balance as well. All right. Okay, so I was asking Ahmed before, what do we do with, um, with patients that might not have the balance they need to do some of these exercises? So what we can do is everything that we just talked about, but we can lean up against something, right? So, so that we, we don't have the danger of falling. And that's, that's fine. And what are, you, what are your thoughts about just the static holding, almost like yoga, right? Holding a pose. So that, still engaging the muscles. Yeah, that, you know, there are so many ways that you can play with engaging those muscles and strengthening them. A hold is a great way to do it. Um, another way is to, from, from that position where you're holding, you can just lower yourself really slowly down to the ground. And that way you'll be um, working on getting those right. muscles loaded as, as they lengthen. And then what you can do as well is you can kind of play around with the speed as you go up. Um, the faster you go, the more intense it is. For me, I feel it's um, hard to control coming down. And uh, I guess that's where I need some strengthening. Exactly. Yeah. So very interesting. And I'm, I'm sure we could use if we had a chair, right? Of All course. Of this would be great with a chair in front of us. Yeah, maybe like holding onto that back of the chair. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I learned a lot today. I have a lot more now to share with my patients. Thanks, Ahmed. Um, and I'll be back. I want to do more together, Ahmed. This is fantastic. And congratulations on your gym. Um, you're a wealth of information. So I'm so excited to move forward with you. Me as well, doctor. Thank you. 